Hi, I'm Paul May with Equipped Expedition Outfitters, and I'm down in southern Baja on the Sea of Cortez with Team Equipped. Thought we'd take a few minutes and uh, show you how to set up an Easy On Series 3 rooftop tent. It's a pretty simple process, but we want to take you through the, uh, the finer details, so let's go ahead and do this. First of all, you have the rooftop tent on your vehicle, and it has a cover on it. There are four friction buckles on the cover, and one on each corner, and that's, they're put in place to reduce the uh, buffeting of the cover while you're on the road. We're going to undo those buckles first. There'll be one on each corner, one here. You can see up here it's just a simple friction buckle. Hit the clasp, it opens. Now the cover for the Easy On Series 3 tent, in fact all Easy On tents, is made from a 700 gram PVC material that has a UV rating of five years. It is a very heavy duty cover. In fact, we believe it is the uh, thickest cover available uh, in the market of rooftop tents. Now you open up this cover, the Velcro flap opens this cover up. Inside here is a ratchet strap. The ratchet strap goes around the perimeter of the cover to each corner and goes around the tent and holds the cover in place. So what you do is you tighten that all down, it holds it in place, works really well, reduces buffeting and keeps all the, uh, the weather out. Each one of the corners uh, has a cable going through it in a corner. And I'll show you a detail of that corner in just one second while we're taking this cover off. So you loosen up that strap, go around to each corner and bring some of that strap through so that you can get it off the top of the roof. I'm going to start on this far side, so it makes it a lot easier to do so, taking the cover off. So I'm going to take that corner up. We go down to this, co this corner. We take that corner up. And this is where the cover comes off here. But if you notice, right here in this corner, the material is cut in a, in a V. You lay that out flat and it looks like this. When you fold it underneath, it tightens up and those corners go together. And that's what makes the corner up in there with that ratchet strap cord. So now we've got the cover ready to take off. I'll just set that right down here and put that away in a second. Okay, so now we've got the tent uncovered. On, uh, on each side of the tent, there are a couple more friction, friction buckles that help minimize the height of the tent on that side. So we undo that one. There's another one on the other side of the tent over here. We undo that one. Now on the top of the rooftop tent, there are um, a couple latches that you need to undo on the ladder extension. They go into the, uh, the extension, and I'll show you that on this side. So you pull these two latches out, get them out of the positioning holes, lift them up, slide the extension out, and that brings it clear out here. Now it's used as a cantilever. Now watch this, the whole tent will set itself up. You pull this down, pull it out straight forward, and the tent starts to set itself up. Something you want to keep in mind is right here. This piece from hinge to hinge, there are two uh, extrusions, a male and a female extrusion. The top piece comes down and lays itself into that female extrusion, and that's what gives the rigidity of the rooftop tent across the, uh, the, the platform, one, from one platform to the other. Okay, now we've got the, uh, the ladder down. Here are the latches I was telling you about. In here is a spring, so you can move these in and out, and it's pretty much a, a, a basic ladder ex, uh, extension ladder that you've seen before. Now one of the things that Easy On does is in their ladder design, they've made it possible for you to fully adjust the height of the ladder based on what you want to do. This extrusion, you're able to drill a hole anywhere down here that you need the ladder to expand or extend to. Now my truck is a lot taller than most trucks, and so what I do is I have a ladder extension. This ladder extension is an option on the tent, and this piece adds one foot of height to your ladder. 
You simply slide it into the bottom of the ladder, like such, and you've now extended the length of your ladder. Now in sand, it's kind of tricky. You always have to kind of beat the sand down in place to get your tent to sit, sit level. That's okay. That's part of the plan. So now your ladder's all in place and you're ready to move forward from here. The Series 3 tent has eight rods in it uh, for the windows and the rain fly. Four long rods and four short rods. The long rods, in fact all of the rods, are made from anodized spring steel. These rods will, uh, will hold in place uh, the rain fly and what they've done is they've created a, a unique hook on the end of it that keeps the rain fly in place. In each of the corners and in two spots along each of the sides there are some stainless steel inserts into the base of the tent. That, that rod will go in there. So to, to take the uh, rain fly and put it in, in uh, readiness for those uh, rods, we need to unhook it on both sides. The rain fly is held in place through a corner grommet and a side buckle. And we use that corner grommet as the positioning place for the spring steel rod. So it goes in the corner, up here, and through the, through the eyelet. Same process over here. There, over there. All right. So we have a door on the other side, same size as this door here on the other side of the tent. Two more rods, and we'll hook that up really quick. The rain fly on an Easy On tent is uh, designed to be elevated from the roof of the tent itself. And this works out really well in two, for two good reasons. Uh, and both of them in opposite weather patterns. One, in the winter, it creates an air barrier between the tent and the outside world. And that helps to insulate the tent to keep it warmer in the winter. In the summer, that elevated area creates shade on your tent which makes it cooler in the summer for you, and it also prevents wicking from happening between the tent and the roof. A couple good reasons why. So we'll stick this last rod into place. There we go. Now the windows on the side of the tent are much smaller. So they, they need a, a smaller rod. Same spring steel, same hook. Same everything. We've got a insert here, same way. Hook and loop, or stick and loop, excuse me, stick and loop. Go through there, Go through here, hook on there. This way, you have rain protection and shade protection from all windows and all doors by these spring steel rods. Inside here is the hinge for the tent. Pretty important piece of equipment there. So what they do is they put a Velcro and canvas cover on it with a couple pieces of Velcro underneath that hook on there, keeps the critters out, and uh, it's an easy access for uh, lighting or what other cables you want to take up through, through there as well. Okay, so that is pretty much how you set up an easy on rooftop tent. It's uh, quite a simple process. Take the cover off, Open up the tent, put the rods on, and you're ready to go to bed.